The Commission of Inquiry into the Affairs of the Public Investment Corporation, or the PIC, has heard from the executive head of the prop of property at the corporation, Vuyani Hako, has labelled an investment into Iqbal Service Company a disaster that cost the PIC 6 billion rand. For more on this now, we cross to our anchor, Nompu Melelo Siziba, who is at the inquiry in Pretoria. Good afternoon to you, Nompu. Uh, won't you just share some details coming out of the inquiry Thanks, this morning? Thanks, Well, it's the second week of the... Thanks, Arabila. Well, it's the th second week of the Public Investment Corporation hearings. Uh, first day, obviously, today. Uh, there were a few witnesses. The first one to speak was Franz Lukubo. He's a director at the Naledi Advisory Services. Now, his company was mandated by the PIC board and the CEO at the time, Dan Majilla, to do an investigation into leaked internal emails um, that were um, basically impugning um, the name of both Dan Majilla and the CEO at the time, um, putting out rumours, as they called them, um, of him doing illegal, corrupt things. And one of them was around the issue of the alleged girlfriend uh, who received monies uh, through her company. I think it's called MSG. Um, but of course, last week, the interesting thing was the head of internal audit, uh, that is Lufuno uh, Nemagovani, he did confirm he did say in testimony here that indeed five million rand was uh, dispersed from the um, from the um what do you call it? Uh, the the fund that would that's supposed to be used for community um, it, that was used to to disperse to this particular company uh, MSG, and there was no evidence that there was a, an obligation for that money to be paid back, and that was over and above some 21 to 23 million rand that had been loaned to this very same company by PIC, uh, which at the time he said when he was investigating, it looked as though that loan was being serviced. So this was one of the allegations in this email. And so Mr. Um, Franz Likubo, he was mandated to investigate um, these emails. Um, in the end, it, th these emails, they came from a chap called um, James Nogu. Um, and James Nogu has never been identified. They've never been able to find out who he was. Um, so that was quite interesting. Another issue that Mr. Lukubo mentioned was that as he was doing his investigations, he did come across information to suggest that um, a corruption and fraud investigation had been filed uh, at a police station in Johannesburg against CEO Dan Machila. Um, and it turned out that the CEO was not aware of this, nor was the board. They then extended, extended his mandate and asked that he look into that matter. And it turned out that, that the person who actually filed this complaint was one Simpiwe Mayesela, who was the head of IT security. Now, later on, as he was in, interviewed by Mr. Lekubo, he said that it wasn't his intention, actually, to implicate uh, Machila, but in actual fact, it was he wanted to bring to attention to the authorities that there was this email uh, that was impugning the reputation of Mr. Machila, and he wanted um, it to be investigated. And apparently he was working hand-in-hand hand with the head of IT. Um, he was the head of IT security, and he was also working hand-in-hand hand with the head of IT. IT. So lots of things just hanging in the air, but it seems as though this investigation really didn't come up with any finality, but that's what he was mandated to do, and he was the first witness on the scene. Um, he was told by the um, head of the commission that indeed he may be asked to come back to give further testimony. The second witness on, um, st on the stand, so to speak, was one Vuyani Hako. He's the executive head of Unlisted Investments, uh, focusing largely on the property sector. Um, he was uh, being asked about uh, the various um, investments that are made in terms of retail, office, um, housing, um, housing developments and so on. He was just taking the commission through how the unlisted property investment sector actually works. And uh, one of the things that he was asked towards the end was whether he had witnessed any impropriety in his capacity, and he said no. So there was nothing really very exciting that came out of his testimony. And then the third testimony that came out today was from the Association for Monitoring and Advocacy of Government Pensions. They were basically saying that they're not satisfied um, that the, um, the mandate of the GEPF to the PIC, that it's irregularly updated. They say the last 
time that happened was in 2011. They're not happy with some of the investments that have been made on the, on the behalf of pensioners, saying that, you know, there have been no returns. Um, some of the investments that were cited were particularly those of Iqbal Survey and the IO deal, where, according to them, not 4.3 billion was lost, but about 6.3 billion. So they cited that, and they also said it was questionable whether investing in BEE things just for the sake of BEE um, is wise, given the fact that it's important that whatever investment you make, there must be returns thereon. So that's pretty much that I all have for you. Unfortunately, I can't hear you, so I just take you back, back to studio. Yeah, my colleague there, Nombu Melelo uh, Siziba, of course, out uh, in Pretoria at the uh, Public Investment Corporation's inquiry into the affairs then of that company. Of course, some harrowing details coming through uh, through that uh, inquiry as well. We'll continue to, of course, give you the latest when it comes to that. It is continuing, of course, until Wednesday, and uh, SABC News will be uh, at the inquiry throughout.